Hello everybody, this is Michael on my NMN journey. This is the update for month 9 or end of month 9. Apologise for the del delay in this. Just been busy with some renovations with uh, visitors um, coming up to where we now live. We've moved from Victoria in Australia to Queensland in Australia. So we're renovating the house plus a number of visitors, plus exploring the area, plus con continue to do work for other people. So uh, my update. Dosage. Well, let me just uh, recap on the dosage. Uh, currently on 750 milligrams per day, taking taken three times a day, 250 milligrams in the morning, 250 at lunchtime, 250 in late afternoon. Uh, this had increased from 250 milligrams overall the first three weeks, then the second three weeks was 500 milligrams, and then week seven onwards it increased to 750 milligrams uh, and has remained so to date. I, uh, my, my wife is now on, went through the same process and is uh, on 750 milligrams as well. And uh, we've had no side effects whatsoever. We can't report on it, anything there. Our sleep patterns are quite good. My sleep pattern um, is five hours at night and then wake up for an hour, maybe two, then fall asleep for another hour or two. And then that's the, uh, the morning and uh, I'm ready to go for the next day. Food and drink intake has remained the same over the last six months. Uh, it originally increased. Uh, I felt hungrier, I felt thirstier, uh, but it hasn't, has remained the same in the last six months. So there's no change there. Uh, I, I still feel I need to drink a lot in terms of um, uh, more. It may be because up here it's in Queensland, it's warmer and it's uh, it's more humid, so uh, you tend to perspire a little bit more. So you have to replenish your 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 uh, the water intake. Uh, what else is there? Energy and endurance. That hasn't. That remains the same. Uh, I still feel energetic. I feel like I'm uh, much more energetic in terms of uh, the amount of energy I can use to do things. Uh, been renovating the house slowly in between working and um, exploring the area, having guests over. So. Uh, my energy level is good, uh, my recovery time is good as well uh, as reported last, last time uh, at the four month mark. Uh, my wife also has been able to experience that uh, recovery time. She's doing a lot of gardening at the moment, uh, establishing the garden in the front and the rear of the, the property and uh, her recovery time in terms of bending over, picking up rocks, putting some soil, moving some soil around. Uh, putting straw, straw around and things like that. She's uh, so her uh, recovery and her back has uh, maybe a bit sore on the day, but then the next day wakes up. There's very little pain there. Uh, it feels like just like you haven't had uh, that exercise or that uh, physical physical activity whatsoever. So that's um, that's for me. It's consistent. From her, it's a it's a new um, experience. So that, that's what I can report. Uh, um, I did at one stage when cleaning the gutters of the roof. Here I fell through the, uh, I think the third step to the second step, the not off the ladder but through the rung and scraped the front of my left shin which was um, uh, quite sore, scraped, uh, a bit of a bruise, a bit of, a bit of blood and um, recovery from time from that was about uh, two weeks. I thought it would be longer, I thought it would be about a month or something like that but um, it healed up pretty quickly. Uh, and um, it doesn't look like anything's happened there. It's about two months ago now, so uh, that that was quite interesting. My my wife does say that her fingernails have uh, grown like mad were her actual words, and she feels that they they are stronger than previously. She did a lot of gardening in Melbourne as well, so um, she can compare her the strength of fingernails uh, as well as um, increase cutting, filing of those fingernails. Uh, and I've experienced the same thing in terms of um, I'm down to about probably one every eight days now, maybe nine days uh, cutting the fingernails on my fingers. Toes probably once every two weeks. Previous to the commencement of this journey, it was the toenails were about once every three weeks and fingernails was once every two weeks. Uh, mm -hmm. So um, I think there has been an um, increase in growth rates of that. Um, my hair, I haven't seen any colour change in my hair. Uh, I have seen some comments say that my hair looks darker from uh, initial to the four month mark. 
I haven't seen it yet, so I, I can't verify that. It may be that uh, my the lighting was different, and that might have changed the the, the colour or the the the, uh, the brightness of or darkness of my hair. Uh, I am taking photographs every three to four months of fingers, hair, face uh, to look at um, skin condition, um, uh, basically uh, moles and things like that, and tone of the skin to see if there is any difference externally. Uh, so um, I'll re release that in. The 12, 12 month mark, as well as um, some other stats, and we'll go through those stats a little bit later. My eyesight, I think I mentioned last time that my, my, eye, my eyesight felt to be improving in terms of seeing the ticker tape banner parade on the bottom of newscasts or news, news programs, as well as uh, morning breakfast shows and things like this. And uh, I think that it still continues to improve. It's much easier to read that from the same distance. Um, uh, I even feel that the use of a, my glasses, and I need my glasses for distance viewing things sharp at a distance, I think that's improved. The distance where I need the glasses um, is now extended from roughly you know, a metre and a half to two metres out to you know five metres or there for, um, greater. So anything that's further than five metres is uh, a little bit blurred, obviously still in I can see everything, but it's just not pin sharp. And uh, nowadays, I think everything within a, a bigger distance, bigger range, is sharp. And I've noticed that more so when I have people around the, the dinner table or the table on the uh, uh, the veranda. Uh, you look at their their hair and their individual hair strands of hair. That is always in sharp, uh, in, in, in sharp, and it's a, and I can see that in a greater distance. Prior to undertaking this um, uh, journey, is that uh, probably about a metre was about the extent of where people were sharp, and I have no problems reading. Uh, that hasn't changed at all. But I think the 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 distance where I can see images or or uh, sharp everything's in, in sharp relief. I think that is increased. So that's interesting. Another interesting thing I've experienced and I've noticed is that the, my mental um, resilience is probably better. I, um, I feel calmer, less prone to uh, emotional uh, feelings in terms of uh, you know, when things go bad uh, you, you can tend to uh, think about those things and uh, look at all the alternatives and uh, options available and, and chase down all those little options down to the uh, what I think is a logical conclusion. Uh, and that is less now than uh, previously, uh, and it seems doesn't seem to disturb me as much if things go wrong or not as planned. So from that point of view, I feel I'm calmer and more able to uh, deal with adversity or um, things that don't uh, go out as I as I expect. So that's quite interesting. I'm not sure about um, my wife's feeling on that. I haven't actually questioned her on that. So, but I'll. Um, I'll, uh, I'll keep that in mind for the next update. Statistics. Been keeping statistics on blood pressure, uh, pulse rate, as well as um, physical statistics. I started out at a bit over 87, I'm a bit under 83 at the moment, so I'm looking at, say, 4 kilos uh, drop in weight, which is round about, you know, 8.8, uh, 8, maybe 9 pounds, uh, with no difference in lifestyle. Uh, Blood pressure remains in the high 110s or low 120s over mid 70s to I think 78 was the highest over the last couple of weeks. My heartbeat is low 70s to mid 70s, and that has remained constant uh, throughout this uh, this NNM journey. Uh, my waist has decreased from 98 centimeters to 95. And that's about three centimeters in imperial. That's you know, two and a quarter inch. Not not great deal. Another example of my energy and endurance levels is that I've recently picked up surfing once again. And it, as in the past, uh, you, when you tend to take up surfing, your um, energy levels uh, and your stamina levels aren't that great. So uh, I noticed that when I started going out now, uh, especially the first number of times, that I could paddle out to where the brakes are and not have to sit there for 15-20 minutes uh, just to recover and catch my breath 
I can go out, get out there, I still feel energetic. Uh, it actually almost like it hasn't changed since I, when I was a lot younger, when I was doing this when I was in my teens and twenties. Uh, therefore, um, I, I, I can still go out there, paddle out there, catch a few waves and, and uh, feel no difference in terms of uh, energy levels. Yeah, I still my, my muscles a bit sore at the, when I kept, get back home, but uh, as I said in, in, um, just previously, that the next day, no soreness whatsoever. So from that point of view, it feels like you're still young, uh, or you're younger in terms of your, your muscle uh, 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 recovering, that's the only way I'm putting it at this moment. So it feels like that you you can recover quickly and you, there's no in, there's no side effect of um, uh, doing that exercise. Whereas in, in you know, 12 months ago, 24 months ago, three years, four or five years ago, I'd go out and uh, try to paddle out and um, you get back after an hour, hour and a half surfing and you're sore and it takes a couple of days to recover. That I don't feel that phenomenon anymore, which is, which is good. So in summary, I think the journey has been positive from, my, for, from the viewpoint of energy, my endurance, uh, improved eyesight, uh, food intake, uh, without increasing my weight or my uh, circumference, <laughs> uh, fingernail increases and, and, and the like. I can't talk about uh, new blood vessel growth and you know other things like this. Uh, that might be at a later date. I don't know how to how to do that. If you've got any questions, please ask me. I'm not a medical person. I have a friend that uh, I can refer some of those to. In terms of latest research, I can put a, uh, a links into the bottom of the you know, YouTube and Facebook pages uh, for the amount the research that I've, I've collated. You can have a look at that. Uh, anything else? Not much. Um, I just feel that it's consistently the same uh, as we're about the four, minute, four month mark and it has sort of not improved but uh, it's very subtle that, um, that my well, feeling of well-being is uh, en enhanced. Um, what else is there? Um, someone did mention about the placebo effect. Uh, we do miss out on occasionally lunch times or even around uh, late afternoon dinner time for taking the uh, the, uh, the NMN. I don't think it has an effect at all with respect to the placebo. I can't comment on that on on that. Uh, I'm not doing a double blind study, so I mean, it's, only, it's on one and my, and my, my wife and a couple of other friends, which I have to catch up to uh, in the next couple of months. So um, I'll let you know how they're progressing with that as well and what their feedback is. So thank you very much for your time. Uh, enjoy yourself. Take care.